I think at this point it is pretty much confirmed that Baran, the bald meanie, who's actually a softy and was tr trying to protect his village from a scary Lamia, he is indeed uh, married with the cowgirl, and the entire village drinks the cowgirl's fresh milk. If your wife, like, think about that. Imagine that you live in a small town and everyone drinks your wife's breast milk. What makes you think? Let's begin today's reaction. The goddess definitely helped Doran out though, right? Yeah, the Myra the goddess. The night girl. Silver hair girl? Is she gonna finally be introduced? What the? Alright, there's an astral form. He gonna go talk to his goddess? He can turn to a dragon in an astral form. Oh my goodness. Yo. <laughs> His voice acting changes to dragon form. Yeah, she clutched for us, right? She told the church girl that it's gonna be fine. So, like, Oracle. So like, the goddess basically just like, she didn't lie, but they think like her words are absolute truth. Myral was literally just like twisting it so that she could be allowed to live here, right? So everything is just bullshit at the end of the day, even if the goddess exists. Yes. Maybe there were more than friends. That's right, he just kind of wanted to pass on, right? Yeah, now we have chill friends. Yeah, a bunch of poor peasants. He's literally shining. Can you feel how desperate the Lamia is for Doran? Cool. Astral form, dream, you separate your body, your consciousness, you fucking sky high, and then there's like a goddess realm. Like, heaven exists beyond the clouds, I guess. What day? Oh, today. Is Christina the silver haired girl? It is. Yeah, this girl is very interesting because so far she seems very mysterious and cool, right? But I think she might be a little bit dork. There's a little hints here and there to the last past two episodes where it kind of hints that like she a little aloof, maybe a uh, air brain, brain aired. What's the word? Blonde airhead. It's funny that I'm trying to make fun of somebody by calling them stupid, but I can't even figure out the words to do so. Wah, wah. Wow, no CGI NPCs in the assets in the background. That's actually impressive. This is like the royal capital? The fuck? Their lock system is like a fairy? It's like a little pixie that's embedded to the door? Okay, that's kind of cool. More fairies and pixies. Ooh, we got a MILF. We got an elven MILF. Pride of her academy? Olivia. That's right, very arid lands. Better... 
better in Tower of God or not? Uh, maybe? Uh, on the same tier, maybe? <laughs> Wow. I thought she was like an awkward airhead, but the way that she like treats her opponents in like, you know, swordsman swordsmanship, she seems to really respect it and she's like, wow, she, that, it was poetic. It was poetic what she said. Okay. Is the girl a little bit rizzed up there? What's that blush? They love Christina here. It's probably because the lands are harsh that they're warm here. They made it. They want you to eat it. Come on. She gets along with everybody, the ladies and the men. It's pretty audacious for him to just like invite another woman to go out drinking when his wife is literally right there, huh? But then again, his wife is just handing out her breast milk like it's fucking free water into the village every day. <laughs> Stop trying to run. <laughs> what was that? Stop trying to run part. This feels like everyone's like just taking bottoms abuse. This is some toxic fucking shit, bro. I'm kidding. But the look here. Stop trying to run. <laughs> it's funny. But the, the look here from Christina. Sad? She's upset that she can't join them as easily? What's, what's going on? Hmm. Wow, we even get told good night? She going to sleep in the same thing she's been wearing all day? Did Christina go join him? Basically, in order to keep her appearances, she can't join them and that's why she feels bad about it? Oh, the animation looks smooth. I think she's letting out some stress. Because she couldn't go drink with them. The plushies? I mean, what am I gonna expect? A fucking mattress? Right? But it's just like the straws, bro. It's just hay. Just hay and a blanket on top of it. Alright, maybe it's really comfy. It's better than sleeping on the floor. Come on. So the hay bed is intentionally just for Lamias, right? The mattress is not the same for Lamia. <laughs> How is it? Lamia there it is! Baran loves the milk his wife produces. And that's the absolute confirmation right there. I mean, we pretty much, it was like 99% sure, right? But that is now an actual confirmation by the anime now. And yeah, he loves to share that shit too, huh? Drinking? Were they about to go drink alcohol, or were they about to go have a drinking competition for mom's milk? Most in one sitting. I'd like to see it. I want to see this. And they milk that shit. <laughs> go back to mom. I don't care about the brothers and the fishing. So like, who's milking it? 
Is she? Can, do we get to see getting? No, we can't see that. That's literally hentai. I, I, I. They're having competition to see who can drink the most of mom milk. And Doran's and Baran's fine with it. It's just the way it's here. It's just the culture here, bro. <laughs> Baran's wife is breastfeeding the entire village. That's what's happening. This entire village is being breastfed by one mom. No. I'm being chuny posing on the wall. <laughs> this could be a threesome setup, but I don't think so. Okay, what are they all drinking? The cups! The cups aren't showing us the liquor. There's a lot of dudes here drinking! <laughs> it's just... I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. I feel like if Baran's wife cowgirl milk thing wasn't a, a thing of the show, a lot of people would have dropped it. Like, let's get real for now, right? Do, do, like, do you guys actually give a fuck about this story so far? We don't really know where it's cooking, but we have the cowgirl milk memes that's really funny and kind of fucked up that we just keep watching it for. So, like, keep cooking, I guess. <laughs> Who's gonna step up and drink more of my wife's milk than I can? He's saying it. Who gonna drink more of my wife's milk? Can I drink it from the fucking teat? From the tap? Maybe Lamia will be the one. Or maybe Christina will. Christina, please, please join us. Baran's wife's milk is very fresh and nice today. Please. To drink your wife's milk. No, no, don't bring some right away. I want it straight off the fucking source. I want it from the fountain itself. Show me how it's done. <laughs> wow, she's chugging that shit. Yo, we need Elsa for B0 in here. We need Elsa in here to do that little lick of her lips after she drinks some foamy milk. Drink her. We're gonna have a competition? We're about to drink her dry. Bro, Baran's wife is gonna be dry after this. Christina's dominating. He passed out. <laughs> Let's go, Christina. That time I was sent from the royal capital as the pride of the academy to a foreign village and outdrank the village heads wipes milk and won the favors of everybody. Yep, that's the title of the show. Damn, she loves that milk. I got a daughter. At what point does the mom pass on the Could you taste something for me? Well, I've been tasting your milk the entire time. What do you mean, taste something? Wait, you have another girl here. Hold up. This is a different milk from a different sore. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> literally just these slice of life moments supposed to be fucked up with like sexual innuendos is that it if, the, if this is basically the theme like, i wonder how much longer they can run with the milk plot but like holy fuck if it's honestly if it's gonna develop into more like slice of life moments just funny stupid moments like this for the rest of the season i am i am so down <laughs> can't even dr can't <laughs> what a worst father of the year bro can't even be awake to drink his daughter's first milk. Instead, it's gonna go to a random person like Christina. <laughs> what is this? Like, like, if mom's milk is like what? Like 2% fat? Is this like skim milk? 
Like, like, what is the difference in quality here? Oh. <laughs> a little bit too close, I'd say. I, I think we're getting a bit too intimate right now. We're drinking up <laughs> We're drinking pretzel. We're getting so close to the villagers, bro. Can, can Lamia also lactate? You know that the letter did not say in detail of how they got close to the villagers. You know for a fact it didn't say specifically I outdrank the husband. I drank the wife's milk and more than the husband did, and then I drank the daughter's milk. Yeah. Oh boy. The racism part was pretty hard to squash even at our small village, but I'm sure in the royal capital it's gonna be even more fucked up. <laughs> Look at the sparkling effects. Wait, they're the last comment there. They say that Lamy is young and no less beautiful than Christina herself. These are not words of someone that's gonna be very hostile and racist. Hmm. Maybe they're more open-minded than I thought. Which, this is the MILF. This is the MILF that I've been waiting for from the opening, right? Long hair, purple hair MILF. Well, hello. Kiden. Government General Mage. Is this really the girl I'm thinking about, actually? I'm not too sure. 16 minutes are in. 16 minutes. No, I don't think so. Because this is the girl I'm talking about. Is this the same girl? I don't really... I don't, I, 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 I don't really know. It could be? I don't know. The hair... The color kind of matches, but face, I don't know. I think it's a different girl. Oh, here we go. This is Cave. This is probably not the witch, I hope. Yeah. The eye color is different, I think, I hope. Maybe I'm fucking coping here, but like, this girl seems to be really anti-Lamia right now. <laughs> Women are going missing was on the news. That's right. We literally got vouched from the goddess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, they're gonna start shit. But without them, we can't have more like cool power fantasy moments or like revenge moments, you know? So like, yeah, these two are starting shit with Lamia, but we're going to get more moments to dunk on them now. Doran! <laughs> 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 Oh no, we're being summoned. Doran too? Oh, okay, here we go. Yes, and the goddess literally said she's cool. Are you contesting the goddess's intention right now is what I would say. Exactly. It's literally their goddess. Our goddess Mirale Oracle has already proven that she isn't an evil monster. Are you then like challenging your goddess? But the worst case scenario, right? Whoa, 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 You see this shit? Do you see the bottom left? Look at these horse girls. The centaurs. The centaurs, bro. Look. The body, the top torso, and then the rest of the horse body armored up. Sorry. <laughs> The soundtrack is so good. Dude, you made no fucking sense. You're like, yes, our goddess that we worship has basically said she's good.
but I still need to eliminate any threats. What, what? What's the logic here, bro? You fucking retard. You should have said something like, we can't really completely trust the Oracle. Maybe she misinterpreted. I also need to come up with like a uh, desperation, like a contingency plan. And this is the insurance. What the fuck does this mean? <laughs> The soundtrack going crazy. Alright. 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 Dumbass, why would you allow Doran to come with? Now he's gonna like bail Lamia out. You know Doran is gonna be like the way that we like get out of this together. No more milk. We gonna be in the capital for a while. Oh, headmistress already knows. She knows and she got pushed. Fly. I, I wanted to see a scene where Christina like literally overlapped this carriage and see what the fuck was that. Oh. He's sharing blankets. Doran will take care of you. But you know the procedure is going to be so unfair. They're going to prosecute her in the most unfair way. There's nothing we can do that'll allow like true justice to happen. They've already made up their minds. This is all just charades. None of this fucking matters. They've determined probably that the Lamia is evil and should be banned. But how does this then get like connected to the plotline of the missing women, right? They're kind of like using that as like an argument of like, oh, there's, you know, women are going missing everywhere. It's like there's these potential threats. Who knows what the Lamia could be doing? Oh. Big Mama Dragon? Poor Selena, man. Let's go. Fuck him up. Okay. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> I just wish that we saw Christina overlap the carriage. It would have been just so funny. But look at this headmistress. <laughs> hey. She's so refined. These fairies do everything. Mm. Even if not eliminated, I feel like they're gonna do some horrible shit to her. It was the other girl. Government general. Mentioned again. Government general is a very high up faction. The women missing. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't even make sense either. The missing woman is probably in the royal capital. We're all out in the fucking boonies and you're gonna blame her there? How the fuck are the women going missing here? Oh my god. Evil. Evil. Uh oh. And that's another episode of Goodbye Dragon Life. And you know what? I am getting more into the story. First episode was like kind of interesting setup, but pretty standard, nothing special. Second episode was milk memes. And I'm like, all right. Third episode is even more fucking milk memes to the next level. I thought that the extent of the milk fan service was done last episode, but no, they were just like starting. And the latter half, right? Now, Selena's getting um, acquired by the government general group. They're supposed to have even more power than the headmistress, right? The elf girl, the blonde elf girl. And there's nothing that we can really do about it other than just listen to those orders. But Doran is with them. You know that... Lamia, right, Selena is gonna get persecuted in such an unfair way. Like, the logic doesn't even sen make sense. She's living all the way out in the boonies. 
But how the fuck are women going missing at your capital? Nothing makes sense here. You just want to have a convenient person to blame. And maybe the most classic cliche thing is that the government general are actually responsible for kidnapping the women. Who knows what kind of experiments they may be doing for magic and shit, right? I'm gonna go with that for now, but I hope that everything's gonna be fine. And I'm sure that we're gonna have like a triumphant like revenge moment, right? Cor moment of correction where we just like don't like pops off and we're gonna have like a power fantasy moment. But that's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.